What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and I'm bringing you guys a Headquarters, headquarters. gameplay on Call of Duty Black Ops. And um, I'm titling this video 250 to 0 for a specific reason, and I'm not going to spoil why, but um, just watch. And um, my other topic besides just like what I want to talk about later in the game is uh, becoming a YouTube partner. So um, I don't know if you guys know this, because I don't ever talk about it really, or mention it too much, but... Um, I have applied for a YouTube partner, I think it, this is three times, and I'm going to tell you what has happened uh, each three times. So basically, um, the very first time I applied, I think it was a year to two years ago, and um, I applied, and they were, were uh, basically reviewing the application or whatever, and I guess it, it either took too long or they lost the application. And um, basically I was just waiting and waiting and I was wondering when I was going to get accepted or denied. And um, it turns out like I was reading some of the forms for the YouTube partnership and they said uh, basically if you've been waiting that long you should probably just uh, cancel your application and resend it later. And um, I did that and then I reapplied and got denied. So I basically consider that my, uh, my second attempt. And um... Through this a second attempt, or after I had tried again, uh, I got denied because I had some clear copyright on my channel. I had a, like three or four videos that had copyright music, and I figured, well, I'm gonna have to take that down if I want to reapply. But um, it's, it's probably the smartest thing to leave it up for a while to give me some extra views in the meantime. And uh, when I go to reapply, I'll delete all of them. So um, that's what I did. I let them get a few more views. Because there were videos that kind of had run their course and probably weren't going to generate too many views. So it really didn't matter that I was deleting them in the first place. But having said that, I, uh, I basically went for my third attempt to become a YouTube partner. And um, I had no copyright videos or anything. And um, at the time, um, I think it's I was at 1,700 subscribers and um, a little under 800,000 total views. And to be honest, I think that is good enough, um, at least for me, or maybe it's not for you two, but I do think that that's enough, um, like stats, like stat-wise, that's good enough to become a YouTube partner. And it's not that I didn't have the stats or anything um, when I first applied, or the, like the second time I applied, I had a decent amount of subscribers and views to be able to pull it off. But for the third attempt, they didn't accept me. And they said it's because of like the basic um, requirements to get in and stuff, or I don't know. It it just doesn't make sense to me. I don't see why I'm not in the partner program. It's just boggling my mind because I would love to be in the partner program. I love doing these videos, and um, you know, the, with that said, I should be in the partner program just because I like doing it. You know, I'd like to receive some kind of compensation for doing something that I love. I mean. That's basically how I feel a job should operate. Like, I feel like this is a part-time job for me. But, um, besides that, I did get denied the third time. And, you know, I'm gonna keep reapplying no matter what. And, unless they specifically tell me what's preventing me from, from, um, getting into the partner program, I have no idea what to do. All I can do is keep making videos and, uh, keep, like, keep having you guys, or, I don't know, what am I trying to say? I have no idea how to word this. I guess I'm trying to just keep you guys entertained. There we go. But, um, I'm sorry if this gameplay is a little boring, by the way. I'm just watching it, and, uh, I got shot through a freaking wall. And, um, I'm gonna tell you guys now. Actually, no, I'll tell you later. Um, for now, I'm just gonna talk about more partner stuff, because, um, I'd like to ask you guys, what do you think, basically, like, what do you think are the minimum for getting into the partner program because honestly I don't know what the minimum is if there is one I know they can deny you for certain things and to be honest I conduct my behavior on YouTube very professionally and if you leave hate on my videos or anything like that I will not respond with hate because that doesn't solve any problems at all um, you gotta try to conduct yourself in a professional manner no matter what you're doing um, if you're with your friends and stuff you know fine but you know out in the real world you need to be professional with what you do. So I'm looking at my channel right now. I have 120 videos uploaded, um, 815,000 overall video views, and 1,788 subscribers. And um, 
I think that is enough. I feel like that's enough to get into the partner program. I don't know why I'm not, but you know, it's up to them. And if they feel like I'm not ready, then fine. But I really feel like I'm there and I'm at the point where I'm, you know, uploading videos a lot more frequently. It just feels like it would be right to be in the, the partner program. But, um, you know, we'll wait. It's fine with me. Um, just to let you guys know, I do have one video. I had one video that was up for revenue sharing. They did, um, they did ask me to have one video for, actually they've asked me multiple times and I guess the way I worded it, um, when they wanted me to describe my video, I didn't provide sufficient information claiming that the videos were original content and that they could be used for revenue sharing. So I only have, uh, well, I only had one recently they asked me and um, it got approved within one or two days. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I'm not gonna tell you guys to go watch the video or click ads. That's just not how I operate. And uh, that's not even um, like fair or legal on YouTube anyway, to ask people to watch the video or um, click the ads and stuff like that. So if you do get a video for revenue sharing or you, or you are in the uh, partner program, do not ask people to do that. I'm just gonna tell you now. Um, I would never ask people to do that anyway. If you want to try to search the videos forever trying to find out which one it is, go ahead. Um, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to provide any information about it. I'm just going to say I have two videos in the partner program. And the thing that makes me happy is they're both guitar tutorial videos. And um, that's what I like doing. And I like doing these two, but um, actually it's kind of a win-win for me. I like doing both of them almost equally. Uh, I put in about as much effort as I can into both. So, you know, that's basically it. So I basically covered um, the partner program and revenue sharing. And um, I wish you guys luck if you try to get into the partner program or you have a video going for revenue sharing. Because once you have an AdSense account and you're checking and you're seeing that you're making money for things you love doing, it's, it's just amazing. So, um, and to be honest, uh, I don't know where my music career is going to go, or where it's going to take me, anything like that. But, um, you know, if, if it doesn't work out, and I, I become a partner, um, it's good to know that I have something to fall back on, you know, as long as it's something that's substantial enough for me to be able to enjoy my life and stuff like that. But um, now I'm going to talk a, a little bit about the gameplay. Um, you know, hopefully you do not get too angry because I don't go 250 to zero. Um, recently I've been very, very uh, uptight about playing the objective because Honestly, that's the only thing that matters when you're playing headquarters. Um, your objective is to capture the headquarters no matter what. And if you can pick up kills along the way, that's great. That's how I feel about it. Um, I don't feel like you should be trying to kill whore or be a slayer, as I've heard some people say. I guess that's what they call somebody who racks up a lot of kills. But um, I think the gameplay is wrapping up soon. We go 250 to 0 capturing. And, um, you know, if you're an objective player or you enjoy... Um, seeing somebody dominate objective wise then yeah you should definitely like this video because objectively I do a great job I think I captured every headquarters I get a contract for having the highest score so that's basically it uh, 250 to 0 capture wise I went 28 to 2 uh, KD wise so that's not that bad either um, thank you uh, thanks for watching guys now uh, please thumbs up the video if you can it doesn't take that long to do please vote for one of the gameplays that I have listed down here and um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for all of my YouTube channel updates. And as always, don't forget to check out the previous video. Thanks, guys.